Hey guys, so today I have a review video for you all and um, it is about the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade 13 Rose Beige, which is my winter shade because it's still not sunny enough, enough for me to go out tanning, so I'm still pale. Um, but yeah, uh, it comes in like four or five shades, I believe. It's not that much. I'm actually surprised that they don't have that many shades. Um, and it's a mattify infallible foundation. They have the normal infallible um, foundation, which this is what the normal infallible looks like. And it's just a foundation and it has a pump and everything. And this is the shade uh, 150. Um, radiant beige. This is my summer shade. I really like this, but it was just really like brownish for me. So that was seriously when I was actually tan. I would use that. Um, this one I actually have been using for the last couple of weeks, and I really, really like this foundation. It's a, a matte foundation. It goes on really smooth. Um, I just used my uh, Sigma F80 uh, Kabuki, flat top Kabuki brush um, uh, to blend it out and I really like this. I've, I would normally not go for a matte foundation, I would more, more go like for a soft dewy look. Um, but I actually really like this. The texture of this is really smooth and um, it's not super light but it's not really heavy either i just usually take a little bit on my um, hand and then just uh, put my brush in and then well a little bit more than this but this is for me to show you guys and then just blend it out on my face and it's just really nice and it is full coverage and it's just so nice it's not heavy on the skin at all it's just it's i wouldn't say it's super light because it does cover a lot. It's a, even on this thing, it says high coverage. It's a, there's a medium and then there's the light coverage. Light coverage is the um, little liquid uh, thingy. And then um, the satin, I think it's still, what's the foundation called? I can't remember. But there's a L'Oreal foundation that is like with a satin dewy finish. But this one is really nice and it just stays in place all day. I've, like I work um, and it's pretty physical so I'm like sweating, it's sweaty and stuff like that and even then I don't feel like it's like dripping off my face and it, it covers my um, like dark spots and even my freckles a little bit as well so it was really nice and I just set it with a powder and I, I can last all day without having to worry about my face makeup being like all over the place. So I really like this foundation and I would definitely recommend it but I wish they came out with a, a wider shade range because just four shades won't cut it especially for like the darker skin or even the really light skinned um, under us. There's no foundation for it. so. That kind of sucks. This um, foundation contains 35 mils, whilst um, this one is 30. But I feel like I this one is getting pretty light already, so I might have to get a new one. Um, but I feel, but I like this because it's so much lighter than like a glass um, bottle to travel with, and even just put in your handbag if you ever need to do your makeup somewhere else. This is great. Um, I think um, even going out, I've been, yesterday I had a birthday and lasted perfectly fine all day and it was great and I just really like this. I've, I think if you are looking for a full coverage foundation for every single day, which is not too heavy on the skin, this is a great foundation to go and I just uh, love it. And price point, it is, on the higher side of the drugstore, I think this one is like 15 euros, I want to say, but I'm not too sure. But this one was 15 euros, I believe. So I really like this foundation, and I think this is, I would recommend this to anyone. Um, I don't have a very oily or dry skin, I have a combination skin, so um, 
I actually really like this, so I'm going to wonder how this goes, is going to last me during the summertime. Um, because during the summer, I'm much way more oilier. And I like that it comes in a tube too, because then you can squeeze the last bit of it out, so you get um, value for your money. So yeah, that was it for my uh, review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have a product in mind that you want me to do a review on. Let me know in the comments down below and um, let me know your experience with this foundation and if you like it as much as I do or if it didn't work for you. Let me know um, in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more reviews. And I hope you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!